Hello there, this is Retro Spirits Gaiden, and this is Raiden 4 Mikado Remix on Nintendo Switch. This is a vertically scrolling shoot 'em up for your Nintendo console, featuring aircraft and robotic spaceships by UFO Interactive Games. Looks like they've got Saturn in their logo there, and Moss, who looks like they've got like a robot in their logo. Uh, this is an FMV showcasing a red plane, a horribly textured environment. All the FMV intros for the rating games I've ever seen always look shite, and this is no exception. Got rocking music though. Can you feel the power of that bass? It's like Dave Murray from Iron Maiden. It's picking up a storm there. Now uh, we have got uh, a blue Raven spaceship as well. Or aircraft. It's not a spaceship, is it? Although it goes into space. Anyway, this is uh, a game I bought quite a long time ago and I just never got around to playing it. Um, I don't know why I bought it because I have played one of the 3D Raiden games before, Raiden Raiden, and I didn't enjoy it. So I thought, uh, well this was probably cheap, but that's probably why I bought it. And I thought give it a go on the Switch. And this is my first play, and I have played it a lot since. And I've tried all the modes, but I'm really going to play arcade mode here. Um, the other modes really change up the way the medals work. Add difficulty, add levels to the main game, and what else to do? Mm, well, I think that's about it. Um, you can play the game controlling both aircraft at the same time, like player one and player two at the same time. That's confusing as hell, uh, especially if you're playing it on a like I was on an arcade stick where. Uh, some of the uh, buttons control the second aircraft whilst it's still trying to shoot. It's just weird. I don't know what the point of it is. I'm sure there's someone on uh, YouTube who has completed it, uh, like an octopus, like a games playing octopus. It's completed that mode with its superior brain, arms, and camouflage ability. Anyway, we're playing the arcade mode here, like I said, and this is my first play, so I don't really know what I'm doing but there is a thing in here where if you're not shooting and you sort of let go of the fire button your little fighter does charge up a little powerful shot uh, which releases loads of missiles uh, which I don't think I could do in the video we'll see if I manage to do it by accident without even re realizing uh, so superficially it looks like well it actually looks a bit like under defeat on the Dreamcast uh, in terms of background visuals. Uh, it's a bit cheap looking. Um, we've got rock and music. This is a remix tune from one of the previous Raven games. I think it's Raven 2. And uh, if there is one saving grace of this game for me, it probably is the music. The gameplay is infuriating. Your little Raven craft doesn't really fly very quick around the screen. It doesn't have a adjustable speed as far as I can see. And the enemy bullets are fairly quick. So it's um, not a game you can react to particularly well. You have to know where everything's going to come on and the firing pattern that it produces. So it's about replaying the game over and over again. Which is cool, which is something I like to do, but uh, we're a game this sort of difficult, it becomes less appealing. The visuals, I really hate the visuals. I'm just going to level with you, I I think they're disgusting. The rain has never looked good in 3D, the 2D games, great looking games. This just looks dirty, it's all blacks uh, and dirty texturing and, and nothing's got sort of surface values on it, it's just it's just nasty. Uh, and that really puts me off. Along with the insane difficulty. We've got smart bombs. Uh, you've got your three main weapons that you'd recognise from any other Raiden game. Raiden Raiden. You've got your blue laser. You've got your spread. Red spread gun. Red spread. Mm. 
Widespread Redemption. Uh, you've got a purple laser, which I think people call the toothpaste laser, which winds its way around the screen. You have a variant of the toothpaste laser, which fires like three different tentacles out, which sweeps the screen. Uh, that's all well and good. Uh, you've got the usual bonus structure. You pick up sparks in the level for destroy enemies. Uh, this background is a bit better because it's not so reliant on dirty black smudges. But um, it's typical Raiden, Raiden Raiden. But I think this is harder than any of the other Raiden games I've played. Uh, and they're not easy games in the first place. So if that floats your boat, give it a crack. I think I've played about, paid about 20 quid for this on a whim. I like Raiden, 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 Raiden. And uh, having put more time into it, I do kind of regret it. I don't like this game at all. I think if I was the sort of person to trade stuff in, this would be back on a shelf somewhere in a shop. Uh, which is a damning indictment. Uh, I, the borders around the screen are disgusting as well. I just, I don't know who did the art direction for this game, but they have a, an eye for the disgusting. Uh, yeah, it, it offends me on multiple levels. I mean, there's no control woes. It's, it plays smoothly. You know, you don't have any issues that way. Uh, it's just difficult. It's so difficult that it's off-putting. I suppose I could change the difficulty level there. Uh, you've got three different characters to choose from. They have different loadouts to a degree. They all do similar things. I don't know if there's um, any other special techniques at this point with the other other characters you can select. You can pick the yeah, power up, the nudie power up fairy there, which is wonderful. Uh, yeah, like I said, the still this plays the same with all three as far as I can see. I didn't notice any differences. Uh, don't even know if they've got different bombs. I'm just trying to think. Uh, we'll see in the we'll see in the video if I launch a bomb whether the bomb's different. It might be. The bombs might be different. Uh, I think the the weapons do visually look different to between each spacecraft or fairy style human but the effect of them is the same so you've got a spread shot, narrow shot, purple laser. Um, yeah. For me, uh, I still would have rather have seen the Raiden fighter jet games on a compilation than this nonsense. I think these 3D games are bullshit. I just don't like them. I'm trying to think what the other format I've played it on. It might be a PS4 game. One of the Ravens came out on that. I think I... Yeah, I think I hated that. Uh, you can get it for 360. Like There's a Raven game for the 360, which was also 3D. It might be this one. Um, but this is this is ugly even by Xbox 360 standards. So I don't know what they were thinking here. The music does fucking rock though. I mean, they've uh, put some effort in there. Whoever's playing the bass, or they got like a nice bass uh, pattern on their keyboard, uh, it really does finger up a storm. And, yeah. I was so I was very disappointed by this. I, I was just the insane difficulty of it uh, versus I don't know the excitement you get. It's just not. If you had a if you had a ship that could move faster, or the bullets were just like twenty percent less swift, I think it would have been more fun, and I'd probably stuck with it. But as it is, it's doing my effing nut in, and that's no fun, is it? So. Do I recommend Raiden 4? Well, if you've got more patience than me, maybe. 
and I do like our shoot ups. Like I, you've seen how many shoot ups I've got on the channel, and but this one just do, does not click with me in any way whatsoever. Yeah, so I don't, I don't like it. I don't know what other people think of this. It, it's probably the best shoot up I've ever made. Uh, if you go and look at other websites or YouTube videos of this, people are probably going, oh, this game is fucking amazing. Well, I'm sorry if I go against the grain there uh, with my negativity. But yeah, this, this isn't for me. Here we go, here's a different mode where you get medals, medals get sucked into you. Uh, oh, and you get a uh, timer on the uh, larger the larger craft. Uh, there's a countdown timer on how long it takes you to destroy them, and you get more points based on how quick you do it. Uh, which is uh, fine, but does it want me to play it more? No. The bullets are a little bit slower in this mode, so maybe this mode is for me. I'll take it back, I love this game. I don't really just hate it. It's just so damned ugly. Uh, it doesn't make me want to play it. It's just dirty. Dirty looking game. Oh, well, anyway. okay, well, I've kind of depressed myself there. Talking about a vertically strong shooter up on this channel that I don't like has depressed me. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Maybe I'll go and play something I do like. Cheer myself up. Maybe some Vampire Savior or a different shoot map which I like. Uh, okay. Well, sorry to be the uh, uh, a negative, uh, negative Nigel, a moaning Malcolm, a whinging Wendy. There we go. I did come up with one eventually. But uh, that's 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 how I feel about this game. Don't like it. Alright, yeah. Too real.